Hey friends, my name is Julie and welcome back to my farm. <laughs> it's the start of lambing season here on the farm and in today's video we're going to introduce you to all the new babies that have been born so far. The very first lamb we had born <laughs> is this big chunk of a ram lamb named Ferdinand. And this is his mom, Bonnie. We also call her half and half. Last year she had another big ram lamb that we ended up keeping as a ram and selling as a breeder. And I think that's the future goal for this guy here. He's already looking big and beautiful and we have high hopes for this guy. All right, I'll let you go see your mom. So after Ferdinand arrived, it was quite a few days before he had any playmates out here in the yard. And then four days later, we had two lambs born in the same day. First came Frank, who is the daughter of Diva. Diva is a two-year-old ewe, and this is her first lamb. And I was a little worried about breeding her in the first place because her mother was prone to uterine prolapse. It actually happened to her twice in a row. And the first time I was able to assist her and hand deliver Diva. So I consider her my miracle baby and she's grown up to be a really beautiful you. And I was really hoping that that wasn't a genetic problem that was gonna get passed on. And she had absolutely no problem delivering Frank all by herself. And he's a big, chunky, healthy ram lamb. So I couldn't be happier with those two. On that same day, our three-year-old ewe Cordelia had another single ram lamb. And he was a big black boy with curly hair, really cute, floppy ears. And Cordelia produces an enormous amount of milk. If I could tame her a little bit, I would love to milk that sheep. And she's a really attentive mom, so Floyd was well taken care of. And the first few days out here, he seemed like a normal lamb hanging out with the other guys. But then he kind of separated himself. He seemed a little bit lazy. We were joking around about how he's just kind of fat and lazy and too well fed. But then his laziness became more worrisome. He was spending most of his time during the day laying under this shelter. And when we would get him up, he would run to his mom and nurse. So we weren't really sure what was wrong with him, if anything. And then one night we were out here checking on a different ewe. We heard some really pitiful bawling coming from the barn. And it was a really cold night, so all the sheep were huddled up in there for the night. And it looked like he got crushed against one of our pallet stalls by one of our big fat ewes. And although we immediately scooped him up and took him up to the house and tried to doctor him, he just didn't make it through that night. Unfortunately, a sad early loss that is very rare here in our herd. And we're still not really sure what was wrong with Floyd, but unfortunately things like that do happen. And the good news is that his mom is doing just fine. So she'll be able to continue on and produce more babies for us in the future. So our fourth ewe to give birth this year was Beverly. And my money was on her to deliver first this year because she was huge. But apparently she needed a few more days because she was cooking twins. She is the first one to give us twins this year and she had these two adorable little boys. This cutie's name is Fredo. And this is Freddy. The only way we tell him apart is that Fredo has a little more white on him and he's got this cool little black spot right in the center of his back. You can see he's a lot more black. Nah. Woo. <laughs> nah. It was also a lot harder to catch. They're both turning out to be super good looking boys. They are definitely our most social lambs. They are out here playing all the time. Now Beverly had a stillborn last year, so we're really happy that she didn't have any trouble this year. We always give our female breeders at least two chances. If they repeat a similar problem year after year, then we consider them calls. But we like to give them as much opportunity to prove themselves and keep them in our herd if we can. 
and Beverly is a big, beautiful ewe, so I'm so happy that she's a productive <laughs> member of the flock still. So finally, after having all those boys born in a row, we were gifted with a little baby girl. This little ewe lamb is the daughter of Aurora here. Aurora always has a single ewe lamb, and I always name her babies after members of the British royal family. So we've had a Princess Diana and a Queen Elizabeth, and this year we're on F names. So this is little Fergie. If you remember Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, her nickname was Fergie. I know some of you will be more familiar with the, uh, the singer Fergie. Well, she fits that name as well because she definitely has the loudest voice out here. Anytime we hear a lamb screaming, I know it's Fergie. You gonna call for your mama? She's a big feisty girl and she'll be a keeper, you lamb, as long as she keeps growing it the way she has been. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. Lamb number seven, just born the last couple hours. And then last but not least, right after Fergie, we had this beautiful little girl born. And she is a daughter of Carol. She's a three-year-old ewe, and this is her second lamb. She also had a beautiful ewe lamb last year that we're hoping is pregnant this year. And this little girl just has some beautiful color patterns. She's like almost reddish brown on top with this gray underbelly. And then her feet turned almost black. She's just gorgeous. and I just cannot decide on a name for her. And if you haven't caught on by now, every year on this farm when the babies are born, we give them all names that begin with the same letter of the alphabet. So our first year of lambing, they were all given A names, and then so on and so forth. And then this year we've arrived at F names. I know some of you have already sent some great suggestions my way, thank you so much. But if you could be any help at all, giving this special little girl a name that she deserves, Please let me know in the comments if you have any good suggestions. And guys, this is just the start of the season. We've got many more ewes that are fat and pregnant and ready to drop those babies. So as soon as they arrive, we'll be sure to let you know. And then at the end of January, we're expecting our goat kids to start arriving as well. And we'll be sure to share all of those stories with you as they come. If you want to see how lambing went last year on this farm, you can check it out right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.